If you're new to using AI presets, AI tools, or AI effects in Lightroom, you may be surprised to see that your experience is slowed down. This can be frustrating, especially because you thought that AI would speed up your workflow. But don't worry, there are a few ways you can optimize your Lightroom in order to have the best experience with AI. The first is obvious, but crucial. Update to the most recent version of Lightroom Classic or Lightroom CC. AI will work on some older versions, but the best chance you have for optimal performance will always be with the latest version. The second is where you're storing your catalog. Make sure it's on your actual hard drive or offline it if you are using a cloud-based system. Similarly, make sure that you have a large enough hard drive and enough free space. Working with too little free hard disk space can cause poor performance. Make sure that the hard drive that stores your Lightroom catalog, previews, and image files is at least 20% free. The third is to optimize your Lightroom Classic catalog. To do this, select File, Optimize Catalog. This essentially streamlines the data structure for better efficiency. So for enhanced performance and stability, choose test integrity before backing up and optimize the catalog after backing up options when exiting Lightroom and backing up the catalog. These steps ensure the smoothest operation, even though it takes a little bit longer. We also recommend editing with smart previews. Smart previews in Lightroom Classic allow you to edit images that are not physically connected to your computer. Smart preview files are lightweight, smaller file formats. You can choose to create smart previews on import, or you can create them anytime by navigating to library, previews, build smart previews. We exclusively edit on smart previews and we've seen a huge improvement in our workflow speed. When it comes to actually using your AI presets, AI tools, or AI effects, here are our best tips. When it comes to scrolling through your AI products to preview how they look on your image, you may find it's very slow. This is because every time you hover over one, Lightroom is going to start identifying the masking areas in your image, the subject, the skin, the sky, etc., and then give you a preview. As you can imagine, this slows down your scroll. Instead, if you need to scroll through without seeing previews, just manually drag the scroll bar on the side of the presets panel instead. This way, your Lightroom won't try and preview the AI on the image for every preset you hover over. If you do want to preview how an AI preset, tool or effect will look on an image, just know it will take a moment the first time Lightroom tries to identify the areas in the image. A tip from us when it comes to previewing presets. For the AI presets that we personally sell, we always include a standard version with our presets, which doesn't include AI masking in it. So in our Seasons AI Film Desktop preset pack, for example, there are 10 standard and 10 AI presets. I like to scroll through the standard presets first to see which look I want, and then go to the corresponding AI preset to see how that AI powered preset will transform my image. This is just a slightly faster way of previewing how different presets will look on your image. A quick tip when it comes to scrolling through the AI options, because there are so many options, I find it helpful to favorite the AI effects or tools I like most for my images. They're also stored in their own folder called favorites in the presets panel, making them even easier to find. Moving on to your masking panel. If you are layering dozens and dozens of masks and have some actually turned off with this little eye symbol, consider deleting those as it's actually taking up some of the data processing on that image and Lightroom will have to work harder. So only keep masks on your image if you actually want them visible. With your masking, if you add many, many masks and then you decide that you want to delete them all, a really quick way is just to navigate down to the delete all masks button. But this is going to delete every single mask that you have. If you only wanna delete some of the masks, but you don't want to click them and delete them one by one, this is a workaround that I personally do. I copy all of my settings except the masks that I no longer want. Copy them, reset the image and hit paste. Now you're sort of reset to the place you were before those unwanted masks were there. In this case, the light leaks. 
Adobe are always releasing updates, so there may be more ways you can optimize your Lightroom for AI. So make sure you check out the articles and videos on the Adobe website. For us, for now, these are the best ways that we've found to help our experience. Happy AI editing.